Those fears have been privately allayed, but it provides a precarious backdrop to the negotiations of the new league's working group, which has been mandated by FIFA to agree on a new operating model for the A-League. By March 31st, Letter is not part of the NLWG, which is being chaired by Judith Griggs, who previously oversaw the Congress Review Working Group and was briefly a candidate for last year's FFA board election. Back in the game, former FFA board candidate Judith Griggs is chairing the new league's working group. Credit Ray Kennedy Butters, head of the club owners' lobby group, which is pushing for the A-League to be run by the clubs themselves, Lederer said he was acutely aware of how talks were developing and what needed to be done to reverse the negative trends. It's critical, it's urgent. We're well aware of it, Lederer told the Herald. We've got to get the crowds back, we've got to get the viewing audience back, we've got to run the game, it's as simple as that. We want to have our destiny in our own hands. We don't need a third party to run our game. Loading, there's a couple of issues, but hopefully we'll be able to resolve those issues by the end of March. We have to. It's imperative for football to take the next step. If we don't, we're just going to go through the same motions. We can't do that, Ledro was reluctant to speak about the specifics of the sports relationship with Fox, saying it was a matter for FFA, at least for the time being, FFA is fully responsible for the situation. FFA negotiated the deal, he said. In the future, that could very well change, but at the present time it's all FFA. Ledra also believed there was no scope for Fox to alter or extricate itself from the TV deal if the A-League is run independently of FFA. I don't think that's correct, that's my personal view. It should transfer straight over, so said. Loading whatever the case, it's clear the A-League needs some serious improvement in key metrics if it is to retain the current level of support from Fox, and the Wanderers, for their part, are poised to make a major contribution. Lederer confirmed he is keen to use the $3 million marquee fund to sign a big-name recruit to coincide with their move into the New Bankwest Stadium next season, provided coach Marcus Babel can find the right player. We're constantly looking around the world, seeing what's available. It's not a question of we don't want to invest, of course we do, Lederer said. Western Sydney announced on Monday they have signed a 10-year deal with Bankwest Stadium to play all of their A-League, AFC Champions League and some FFA Cup and W League matches at Parramatta. The 30,000-seat venue boasts the steepest grandstands of any ground in Australia. CEO John Satsum has declined to reveal a break-even crowd figure when asked but said he was confident the agreement reached would prove affordable for both the club and its supporters.